Ice French Open champion Lina crashed out in three sets of German wildcard Sabine Lesischke. China's hopes squandered two match points on her way to the shock defeat. That made her the highest seed to exit Wimbledon so far. Adding to Lina's sorrow, she'll now miss out on a record-breaking year for the winners in prize money. Singles champions will walk away with more than a million pounds each, the most in the tournament's history. Total prize money will rise 6.4% to more than 14.5 million pounds. Lina will also miss out on that extra bit of publicity. Nearly half a million people descended on Wimbledon for last year's championships, and that could go even higher this year. Lina's shock exit certainly made the headlines, but for many years, the women's game commanded much less interest than men's. Look at what's changed. I'm with Stacey Allister, who's overseen the transformation of women's tennis. She's CEO of its governing body, the Women's Tennis Association. Great to have you in the, in the studio. Thanks Great, so much man. for your time. So, yeah, so it's been a bit of a challenge then uh, in terms of getting the right kind of publicity, promoting women's tennis. Uh, tell me about some of the obstacles you've come up against since you took over this job in 2009, right? Well, when I uh, first started, we uh, were working with Sony Ericsson. They were our title sponsor. And uh, we worked, with through, worked through those issues with them. And they renewed and kicked off what has been a 60% increase in sponsorship revenues in the last 12 months. So we renewed Sony Ericsson. And we secured five new sponsors all in the past uh, 15 months. So although we've had this global recession, women's tennis has actually gone forward. Our attendance is up, our TV revenues yeah. uh, are up, and overall, uh, women's tennis has never been in a, f a stronger financial place. I mean, this is pretty remarkable. When you look at the events of the last few years, when you took this job in 2009, when recession was squeezing corporate squeezing. sponsorship, you yeah. must have been pretty apprehensive. Were you expecting that you well, would be was, in this position a few, today? A few people said to me, do you know what you're getting yourself into? <laughs> You know, 50% of our net revenues in 2011 were unsecured when I yeah. took over as chairman and CEO. But I've been selling women's tennis uh, for 15 years with a lot of confidence in the product. Uh, our athletes have mm. delivered, our tournaments have delivered, and Sony Ericsson gave us a great foundation to really springboard and then attract new partners to the sport. Because we are talking in, what, less than two years since less you took the job. Two, You've closed on $75 million in sponsorship yeah, we've deals. We've written over $75 million in, in contracts. So we've diversified our revenues, given the organization financial stability, and we're poised for great growth. Uh, with China, we have an office now mm. in Beijing. And what's actually happened uh, with women's tennis, we've had nine different nations in the mm. top ten. What's ha that creates nine heroes. Yeah, and that nine helps with Lena, markets. right? Because it gives, it, a, it gives the sport a face. No that question. It's product it of life. That country, right? You know, and yeah. that hero and, and that emotion that sport brings now just puts women's tennis front and center in China, which is fantastic. Which is uh, for, a shame that she's been knocked out, yes. Lina. Were you, were you surprised by that? Uh, look at Sabine Lisicki, uh, won Birmingham here a couple of weeks ago. She's a quarterfinalist uh, at Wimbledon in 2009. She's got a great grass court game. Mm. She's one of those rising stars on the WTA. So it was a tough opponent. <laughs> it was a real tough opponent. And uh, no, uh, Sabine, sh she took it, deserved it. And uh, okay, Lina. So then, Stacey, you've been speaking about the sport attracting a great deal of interest. Just looking at the pictures there, but uh, attracting a great deal of interest in China. How is WTA going to capitalize on that? Well, uh, we're there seeding the market. You know, in that, that country, they don't know tennis, really. Mm. So we've got people on the ground where we're putting rackets in uh, kids' hands, in okay. adults' hands, teaching them how to score. And throughout the year, we're sending results back specifically to the different media outlets. We've got 8 million fans in China following uh, the stars of the WTA through social media. And so we're... So that's helping too, that's, and making it fueling. one of the fastest growing sports in no, China. No question. And we have one of our um, four premier mandatory mm -hmm. events, the China Open, and we're looking at trying to add another professional event to China so that we can add the professional events, which bring the promotion the athletes and then you know the grassroots work working with the Chinese Tennis Association okay. to foster more play. 
Okay, so a great deal there working to boost the popularity of tennis in farm markets. Good luck to you. Good to Thank talk you. to you. Thanks very much. Coming again, Stacey Allister, Chief Executive Officer of Women's Tennis Association. Well,